All right, this is Josh in Plano, Texas. We're going to be making some lip balm today out of the beeswax that I have. So as you can see, I got some beeswax, some vitamin E oil, almond oil, coconut oil. I got some lemongrass drops. I'm thinking about going to get some peppermint drops too. We'll see. I got empty tubes that I got off Amazon to make the lip balm. And we will start here in just a minute. All right, the recipe that I got off the internet that I'm going to be using today is three parts oil to one part wax. So first what I'm doing is I'm just shaving off pieces of my wax here as best I can. What I'm trying to get is two tablespoons of wax. for the amount that I'm going to try and make. So what I've been doing is just shaving some off and then cramming it into this tablespoon until I get it full. So I've already got one tablespoon full here. And I'll bring you back when I got this one finished. Okay, so I've got my two tablespoons. Over here, I've got a pot with some boiling water. And to keep this glass off the bottom, I have a little metal cup that I've set upside down. And I will melt <coughs> the beeswax. And then add the other oils to that. I've set my tubes on wax paper to protect the countertop when I inevitably spill the wax. Alright, so I've placed the wax. I broke it up into smaller pieces. I placed it in my little double boiler here. And I'm waiting for that to melt down before I start adding the other oils. So I think what I'm going to do is probably do three tablespoons of coconut, three tablespoons of almond, and then just a few drops of the vitamin E, which helps to make the lip balm last longer, and it also helps to protect your lips. So we'll get those ready here in just a little bit. All right, now we're going to add to the coconut oil. Come on, coconut oil, get out of there. I'm using a chopstick to stir this. Almond oil, tablespoons. Let's see. Let's see how this comes out of here. I'm not going to do an exact measurement on this, but I'm going to say half a tablespoon probably. It's coming out very slowly. When this is melted completely, we'll add in a few drops of the lemongrass after we take it off the heat. And then we'll pour it into our molds. Alright, it looks like it's just about there. Or four will be four. Alright. Throw that in real good, and then we're going to start pouring it into molds. I 
looking so good. Hopefully I get better. I shake a lot. I'm hoping that whatever I spill, I can peel up off this wax paper and just remelt. So I'm not overly concerned, but I'd like to not spill as much. Alright, I need to get another two. Now we just need to let these sit for a while and cool off and I'll bring you back. As you can see they're starting to cool. All finished. little chapstick. I got some labels I'm going to try to make and put on there as well. Alright, this is Josh of Plano, Texas with some beeswax lip balm. Hope you've enjoyed it.